हेलो एवरीवन हेल्थ इन जनरली मीन्स फ्री फ्रॉम इलनेस डिजीज इंजरी और पेन लैक ऑफ फिजिकल फिटनेस हेल्थ कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ स्टेट ऑफ कंप्लीट फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेलबींग देर आर वेरियस फैक्टर्स इन्वॉल्व फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ आर हेल्थ सो टुडे लेट इस डिस्कस मोर रिलेटेड टू इट इन आर लेसन वाई डू वी फॉल इल हेल्थ एंड इट्स फेलियर हेल्थ इज अ स्टेट ऑफ फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेलबींग इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ गुड हेल्थ आर गुड फिजिकल एंड सोशल एनवायरमेंट गुड इकोनॉमिक कंडीशंस सोशल इक्वालिटी एंड हारमोनी डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन हेल्दी एंड डिजीज फ्री हेल्दी इट इज अ स्टेट ऑफ फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेलबींग disease free is a state of absence from diseases healthy it refers to the individual physical and social environment disease free it refers only to the individual healthy the individual has good health in the disease free the individual may have good health or poor health in healthy they are spread through some agency such as air food contact insects etc in disease free they do not spread through any agency disease and its causes when a person is affected by a disease either the normal functioning or the appearance of one or more systems of the body changes for the worse this changes give rise to signs of the disease called symptoms on the basis of the symptoms the physicians look for a signs of particular disease and conduct tests to confirm the disease types of disease acute diseases chronic diseases non infectious or non communicable diseases infectious or communicable diseases acute diseases diseases which last only for a short period of time and does not have long term effect on health example cough cold or common cold the common cold has no cure and it can live for hours outside the body typhoid here is a picture showing the mode of transmission and the common symptoms chronic diseases diseases which lasts for a long time and has long term drastic effect on health example elephantiasis example 2 tuberculosis of lungs example 3 skin cancer on face infectious or communicable diseases diseases which spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air water food vectors physical contact or sexual contact examples common cold chicken pox measles typhoid cholera tuberculosis malaria aids non infectious or non communicable diseases diseases which are not spread from an infected person to a healthy person example beriberi rickets scurvy night blindness diabetes cancer high blood pressure causes of diseases pathogens like virus bacteria fungi protozoans or worms genetic disorders environmental pollution malfunctioning of body parts poor health and undernourishment infectious diseases the diseases which spread from one person to another easily are called infectious diseases pathogens are the organism which causes diseases vector are the organisms which spread the diseases here is a table showing infectious agents and the diseases caused viruses cause common cold influenza measles mumps chicken pox aids hepatitis b etc bacteria causes cholera typhoid tuberculosis tetanus anthrax food poisoning etc fungi causes skin infections 
protozoans causes malaria kala azar amoebic dysentery sleeping sickness worms causes intestinal infections elephantiasis non infectious diseases the diseases which do not spread from one person to another are called non infectious diseases these are the following types deficiency causes deficiency of nutrients and hormones example diabetes scurvy allergy when body is hypersensitive to foreign elements example asthma cancer uncontrolled growth of certain tissues mental disorder depression anxiety etc addiction alcohol drugs degenerative malfunctioning of important organs example heart diseases some of the infectious agents are virus ringworm bacteria staphylococcus bacteria which causes acne protozoan black fever or kala azar and ascaris means of spread of diseases first one through air that is common cold tuberculosis pneumonia etc through water that is cholera amoebic dysentery etc through vectors mosquitoes causes malaria dengue yellow fever etc flies causes typhoid tuberculosis diarrhea dysentery etc through sexual contact that is syphilis and aids aids virus can also spread through blood transfusion from infected mother to her baby during pregnancy and also through breastfeeding contacts that do not spread aids aids is not a contagious disease and it does not spread by casual contacts such as shaking hands coughing and sneezing kissing and embracing sharing utensils and telephone swimming pools and toilets sharing towels blood sucking insects crowded transport animals to people wash your hands after petting animals or touching any surfaces they come into contact with organ specific and tissue specific manifestation disease causing microbes enter the body by different means and goes to different organs and tissues microbes which enters through the nose are likely to go to the lungs microbes which enter through the mouth are likely to stay in the gut viruses which causes aids enter the body through sexual organs during sexual contact and spreads through the limb to all parts of the body and damages the immune system virus which causes japanese encephalitis that is brain fever enters the body through mosquito bite and goes and infects the brain principles of treatment The treatment of infectious disease consists of two steps. They are to reduce the effects of the disease, to kill the microbes which cause the disease. This can be done by taking medicines to bring down the effects of the disease like fever, pain or loose motions etc. and by taking bed rest to conserve energy. To kill the microbes This can be done by taking suitable antibiotics and drugs which kills the microbes and the disease is cured. Principles of prevention. There are two ways of prevention of infectious disease. They are general ways, specific ways. General ways of prevention. Public hygiene is the most important for prevention of infectious diseases. proper and sufficient food for everyone will make people healthy to resist infection airborne diseases can be prevented by living in conditions that are not crowded waterborne diseases can be prevented by providing safe drinking water vector borne diseases can be prevented by providing clean environment specific ways of prevention The specific ways to prevent infectious disease is immunization by taking vaccines. Vaccines provide immunity from infectious disease like tetanus, diphtheria, whooping cough, measles, 
polio etc a body has an immune system which fights microbial infection when this system first sees an infectious microbe it kills the microbe and remembers it so if the microbe enters the body the next time it responds more vigorously vaccines mimic the infectious microbe and strengthens our immune system and protects the body from infectious disease so this was all about our lesson why do we fall ill health is like money we never have a true idea of its value until we lose it so knowing the facts related to it is very important thank you students